Why, hello, fellow brownies and scholars alike. Welcome to a segment I'm trying to fastly make called Classical Reading Time with Viney Cloppertop, a.k.a. me. On today's list, I decided to kick things off with a little simple tale I found on eBay while searching for MLP merchandise and Matt Smith size replicas and figurines. It is called Stay Away from Strangers. I have to warn you young readers out there because this book is rated skeleton for 3 spooky 5 me, so children under 69 have been warned. So let's get into this classical tale. Wait, you're expecting a work of art or something? Well go to Doug Notes or something man, I ain't spending 12 bits on a book app to buy myself 50 shades of grades to read to you. you. You get what you get, plus this book is from like what, the 1990s? So it's safe to say it's, it's classical. I mean, you call music from the 90s classical, so it, it's you guys who did this. Anyways, let's get into this fascinating story. <coughs> stay away from danger. Wait, oh, fudge me. It's Stay Away from Strangers by um Diane H. Papas and etc. But this story wouldn't have been memorable if it wasn't for the artist himself, Rick Estra Estrada? Anyways, from the front cover, you can tell this is pretty interesting. First off, you got a lady who's into tying kids onto leeches and whatnot. Also, this kid looks like he slash she walked into her parents' bedroom during sexy time or something. Anyways, let's start reading, shall we? Today is the Youth Soccer Championships. The Red Tornadoes are playing in the semifinals. Wow. First off, Red tornadoes i mean couldn't it be something else like the three mlg no scopers or the ball crushers i mean instead they chose the red tornadoes really also looks like they're against the blue sharknadoes and another thing why do they need a sign for telling them where the field is at are they blind it's right there anyways moving along okay team we have an hour before our game starts let's take some time to warm up said coach Johnson. Well, everything seems fine here. I, I, I guess I'll just read the next page. Oh my gosh! What happened to that poor boy? I mean, look at him. What is this? Oh, it, it must be a new crave. It must be the Dougie, I guess. Sorry, book, but you're a little too old for me. You're too outdated. We'll be gone. Great shot, Nancy, coach Johnson yelled. Why don't we rest now before the game? I'll be right back. I need to speak to the referees. Great shot, Nancy. Great, great shot. Look at that. She wasn't anywhere near the goal. How was that great? Unless the ball went pretty high, like probably 420 feet. Then that is very impressive, Nancy. You little druggy, you. Next page. Hey, let's play hide and seek until the game starts, said Nancy. Hey, great idea, Nancy. Why rest when you could run some more? And what better way to do that with some hide and fudge and seek, Nancy? It's not like we have a fudge and competition to win. Fudge and Nancy and her drugs. Anyways, let's see how glorious this half-baked plan turns out. Nancy will never find me here, thought Rita excitedly. Nancy will never find me here. Nancy will never find me here. Rita, you are practically ten fudging feet away from Nancy and behind a fudging Fluttershy and you think that fudging Nancy will not find you? Mm, well, I actually like this plan, to be fair to Rita. Nancy is a druggie after all, but I'm also starting to think that she is also a dealer. Well, let's see how this game ends. Rita looked up to see a woman coming towards her. She was carrying a leash and seemed to be looking for something. Er, why? Have you seen my puppy running around here? The woman asked Rita, my puppy is missing. Well, I can see why your puppy would run away from you. You are fudging hideous. I mean, with that face, you can scare anyone, man. Three spooky five me. I, that's why I warned you guys. Well, I wonder what happens next now. Meanwhile, at the kids' gardening headquarters. Let's go, Carrot, Zach urged. That woman is using the lost puppy trick. Well, there are many things wrong with this page. First off, Kids Guardian Club? What, what is that? And who funds such a project? I mean, what do you get in return? Money? 
And also, how can you see this happening? This is creeping me out, man. What if they turn this thing on while I'm clopping? Also, is this the only thing they see when they turn this comp contraption on? Wow, their crime must be at, like what, an all time low if this only shows up? Either that or it's because the kid is white. Also, why aren't any other kids around? They were so close to her. And the lost puppy trick? Really? They have a name for that? Really? Well, I've never heard of this trick. I must have missed the Stealing Kids convention this year. That's what happens when you go to BronyCon, guys. Besides, besides that, Zack? Really? Fudge this. I'm moving on. Stop. Rita, order Zack. Never go anywhere with a stranger. You bet your sweet furry butt I ain't going anywhere with her. Although, this pick is very interesting. I mean, look at the way they travel. Fudging Wizard of Oz style over here. Even with a fudging bubble. Did anyone even see that thing? And also, Blast, a buffalo and a cow are here to stop me again. This is the face I make whenever I lose. Next. My name is Carrot, and this is Zack, said Carrot. Our job is to make sure that kids are safe. Zack is going to explain to you three important rules about strangers. Very well. Teach us to let your lessons, oh wise buffalo. But first, let us get off our trips. Nancy gave us some good stuff today. Next page. Coach Johnson came to join them. He was glad that Zack and Carrot had come to help. The first rule is, you should never go anywhere with a stranger, Zack said. The second rule is, don't take anything from a stranger. No candies, no toys, no money, nothing. Thanks Celestia, John came in at the right time. Where were you at during all this? Some pony could have died. Plus, I'd love to pay attention to your lesson, Mr. Zack. But we're still comprehending how are you fudging talking. Next. The third rule, explained Carrot, is never let a stranger hold or touch you. Stay at least five steps away. And always remember, continued Zack, an adult you don't know should never ask for your help. If this happens, just leave and tell your parents are a safe adult. Hmm, a stranger should never touch me or be near me. Well, it was nice knowing people. Guess I have to count five steps away from everyone. And I would never let a stranger touch me. Plus, why? Moving along, we're almost done here. Man, Nancy gave me some of that good stuff. Okay, kids, the referee is calling our team. Let's go on to the field, called Coach Johnson. We've done our job here. Carrot, said Zack, it's time to get back to the kids' guardian headquarters. Yeah, let's go back to the headquarters where us weird beings watch children with our magical bubble device. Next. Let's remember the stranger danger rules we learned today. Number one, don't go anywhere with a stranger. Number two, don't take anything from a stranger. And number three, never let a stranger touch you. Just walk away. See, I told you, they fly in a bubble. But how? I love physics, so when someone or something defies it, it gets me mad. And this right in here got me murdered. Look at that, they're floating. They must wear a ton too. Plus, how does no one ever see it? It is really hard to miss a big bubble with two animals in it. And I'm guessing this is where the stranger danger comes from. Well guys, that was an amazing tale of the classical book called Stay Away From Dangers. Strangers! Sorry, I said it wrong. But I want your body. My body isn't ready. Anyways, to tell you the truth, this book, in my books, deserves a 6.9 out of 6.9. Although I'm not grading off of how good it is, I'm grading it on how funny it is really. And somewhat good. On a classical literature scale, it would be considered 0.69 out of 100. But what do I know? Well, goodbye fellow friends and funny junk members who want to kill me. See you next time on Classical Reading Time with Viney Cloppertop, aka me. I'm too afford. Oh, fudge, I'm too cheap to afford this music. So please don't kill me. <laughs>